Hey there buddies, welcome back to the channel. Joe Ed here, and I'm super excited to dive into another Make.com automation adventure with you. If you're new around here, a massive welcome. I genuinely hope this video becomes a helpful guide as you journey through the world of automation. Today, we're gonna learn how to create a Google Gemini API key using Google AI Studio, and then connect it to Make.com. We won't stop there, we're also going to give it a test run so you can see all the magic happen in real time. So if you're ready, let's jump right in. First things first, let's head over to Google and search for Google AI Studio. Click on that link and log in with your Google account. Next, you'll see Get API Key. That's what we need to click next. This is the place where we'll generate our unique Gemini key. Once you're there, look to the bottom and click on Create API Key, and from the list, select Gemini, and yes. There it is, our API key. Click copy, and this is important. Make sure you save it somewhere safe, where you can easily retrieve it later. Now, just a heads up about API usage. The cool thing is, we can use Gemini 1.5 Pro for free, for both input and output. There are some limitations naturally, so if you have larger projects that require a lot more requests per minute, then you might want to explore their pay as you go plans. Okay, let's switch gears and head on over to make.com and get our newly generated Gemini API key connected. Let's kick off by creating a brand new scenario and then let's search for Gemini. Select the Gemini module and then choose Create a Completion. Next up, click Create a Connection. I'm going to name my connection Gemini. You can name yours whatever you want. And I'll then paste the API key we copied from Google AI Studio and hit Save. Perfect. Our API is now connected. Let's put it to the test. I'm going to select a model. For this demonstration, let's use the Gemini 2.0 Flash experiment. Under Messages, click on Add Item and set the role as User. Then under Parts again, click Add Item and set the message type to Text. This will make sure we're getting a text output. Below that, you'll see a text box, and this is where you'll write your prompt. This is where you tell Gemini what you want it to create, like a blog post or social media captions. For our first test, we'll ask it to write a short story about a pineapple. Okay, let's click Save. Let's do a quick test. Let's click Run Once. Awesome, it's all green. Let's have a look at the output by clicking Result. Yep, our story was generated beautifully. Okay, so next up, let's get this connected to Google Docs so we can have the content Gemini generates saved into a brand new document. Let's click the plus icon to add a new module, search for Google Docs, and then select Create a Document. Next up, click on Create a Connection. You can rename this connection, but honestly, it's totally optional. I always like my module names to be nice and short. Okay, next up, we'll sign in with Google. Select your Google account and keep moving. We don't actually need to supply an API key for the Google Docs module. Great, it's connected. Now let's give it a go. In the name field, you can enter a name for your document. You could definitely automate this step if you've got your data sitting in a database like SmartSuite or even Google Sheets. Now let's connect the output from Gemini to the content section. Click on Result and select the message text. Next up, choose which folder in your Google Drive you'd like this saved and click on Save. Just a little reminder, remember to always save your work because Make.com doesn't automatically save our scenarios. Oh, by the way, I also made a video all about connecting the Google Drive API with Make.com and I'll be sure to link it right up here. Okay. It's the moment of truth. Let's see this entire flow in action. Let's click run once. As you can see, Gemini's processed our prompt. And then it sent the generated content into a brand new Google document. Let's check it out. Yes, there's our brand new document. And that's it, buddies. Brings us to the end of our simple automation project. I'm so hopeful that this guide has been helpful to you as you start your own automation journey. 
If you found this useful, please hit the like button, and of course subscribe so you can join our growing automation squad community. Thank you so much for watching buddies, I'll see you on the next one.